conductance and conductivity so conductance is denoted by capital z and conductivity is denoted by sigma so we know that resistance and resistivity we have studied so similarly let us go to the conductance and conductivity so conductance conductance z is opposite to resistance okay and the sigma that is conductivity is opposite to this is opposite to the resistivity that is rho okay so the conductance is opposite to resistance and conductivity sigma is opposite to the resistivity rho we studied the difference between resistance and resistivity here also we study the conductance and conductivity so this g okay this g is equal to 1 by r this is the relationship between conductance and the resistance similar to this so we have the sigma is equal to 1 divided by rho okay so these are the macroscopic relation and we don't go to the microscopic relation of uh, conductance and conductivity okay so for good conductor what do we need is for a good conductor resistance should be very less okay if the resistance is less then conductance will become what become more it means that for good conductor conductance should be very high similarly if the resistivity okay we we had a uh, done this okay we have done this r is equal to rho l divided by a okay or r is equal to rho when when l and area were one in the last lecture so resistance and resistivity are almost same it means that for good conductor resistance should be less okay it should be less then this should also be less okay for good conductor good conductor resistance should be less therefore resistivity this should also be less now for good conductor if it is less than the sigma that is conductivity the sigma should be high this is very important okay this is high and this okay so if it is less then it is good conductor okay you can write sigma less good conductor good conductor sorry rho less is good conductor therefore sigma high is also good conductor why if it is very less then this will automatically become large because of inverse relation so for good conductor conductivity should be large okay so this you can understand for good this should be less and that should be large okay conductance large and resistance less that is good conductor now if the resistance is large then the conductor is very bad conductor okay if it is large then conductance will become less it means that for bad conductor resistance very high but conductance will be very less okay if the conductance is less it will not allow the current to pass easily so these are two uh, things now resistance is a property which is extrinsic okay similar to the that the conductance is also the property of material which is extrinsic so this g that is conductance is an extrinsic property extrinsic property and if it is extrinsic property then it depends upon depends on length volume mass area etc okay so the conductivity also depend upon length of the material volume of the material area of the material and mass of the material okay so 
If the conductance is extrinsic property, then this conductivity is an intrinsic property. Very important. Okay. Conductivity, that is, uh, sigma is intrinsic property. Intrinsic property. Okay. It means that do not depend, do not depend, do not depend on area, volume, mass, length, etc. Okay. So the conductivity do not depend upon area, volume, mass, length. It is intrinsic characteristics or intrinsic property. Therefore, it only depends upon the material to material. Conductivity is different for different different material. Okay? Be okay? Because resistivity is also intrinsic property. Okay? We studied that in the last lecture. Similarly, resistance is also extrinsic property. Therefore, this is also extrinsic property. So, the SI unit. Okay, let us go to the SI unit of this conductance. So, there is a resistance. So, this is 1 by resistance. So, which is equal to 1 by what is the uh, resistance, um, SI unit of resistance? That is ohm. Okay, if you bring this above, it will become ohm inverse or simply ohm inverse. Okay, omega inverse. So this is my SI unit. But in general, we don't write ohm inverse. We just write as mo. M H O. All of these are SI unit of conductance. Okay, ohm inverse or omega inverse or mo. Just opposite. O H M ohm. M H O mo. M H O mo. Okay. So these are the SI units. Now let us go to the SI unit here. What is the SI unit is that I have what what? 1 by rho. And we know that the SI unit of resistivity is ohm meter. What, what is ohm meter? Now if you bring this above then what do you get? This will become ohm inverse meter inverse is the SI unit. Okay. Here we generally say the SI unit of conductance as mo. Therefore, in general, the SI unit of conductivity we say as Simons per meter. S I E M E N. Simon per meter. Or S per meter or S meter inverse. So, in general, we call this as the SI unit of conductivity. So, this uh, units are very important and this relationship are also important. So these are my microscopic relation, not the microscopic relation. Okay. In the next lecture, we go to the temperature dependence of resistivity. Thank you.